A four-day manhunt after a deadly stabbing spree in Saskatchewan, Canada, finally came to an end on Wednesday. Canada's Global News reported that the suspect sought by police died shortly after his arrest from injuries that were apparently self-inflicted. Ten people were killed last Sunday and 18 others injured in what has become one of the deadliest attacks in modern Canadian history. Suspect Miles Sanderson was taken into custody after police rammed his vehicle off the road. Older brother and accused accomplice Damien Sanderson was himself found slain on Monday in a grassy area of the James Smith Cree Nation, a sparsely populated indigenous community and the site of most of the killings. Police are investigating whether Miles may have killed his brother. Earlier on Wednesday, the Saskatchewan Coroner's Office and the Royal Canadian Mounted Police released the identities of the victims. They were aged between 23 and 78. Saskatoon Tribal Council Chief Mark Arcon's sister, 48-year-old Bonnie Burns, was among them. He choked up as he recalled his sister's final moments. Right, right outside of her home, she was killed by senseless acts. Her son, she was protecting her son. She was protecting these three little boys. This is why she's a hero. Bonnie's 28-year-old son, Gregory Burns, was also killed. He was a father of two, with another child on the way. When they got there, Jonesy, our, our nephew, our son, was laying there. He was already deceased. He was stabbed several times, I believe. My sister went out. I tried to help her, her son in... I think she was stabbed two times. And she died right beside him. No information has been shared relating to a motive.